Welcome back everybody, it's Jason G's here. So we've got a really special video, actually got Nicole, probably the best player in the world at the moment, Benji Fishy. We went over all of his FNCS games, I've got two of these games featured in this video. We're going to be breaking down his thought process, because some little tips and tricks that Benji has for end games that make him so successful, what his early and mid game strats are, how he's learned to play dead side. And towards the end of the video, we've got a long Q&A, basically going over a whole load of questions of Benji. Uh, how did he improve his piece control? What did he do to improve? What's his practice schedule? Does he think game is genetics? A whole load of different questions. There's a really funny, some couple of really funny answers there as well, which I'm sure you guys appreciate. Got loads of different questions. He's all asked by my viewers, so make sure to join my Discord. And if you want to catch these streams live, make sure to check out my Twitch in the description below. Make sure to watch the full thing. If not, you can skip around to the video chapters. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Same shot again. What do you do normally mid game? Like, let's say you get first zone. I know a lot of players struggle with this, right? Not like uh, this video. Yeah, I mean, in reset games, I I go for tags a lot. I see if I off spawn, I see if I can get some tags. Uh, I'll see if I can like maybe get in like a, a fight with someone. Maybe I I disengage if I don't think I can win the fight, and I can or if I have a chance and I win the fight. Okay. Um, but in mid game, I'll literally just go for tags as much as possible. I'll I'll carry on going center. Um, and then second zone, I'll if I don't have enough tags, second zone, I'll like try to go towards the edge and look for more tags and people rotating. Um. So yeah, I pretty much just base my mid game off getting tags and rotating as early as I can. It's good to rotate. Where do you like to be on fourth? Do you like to get above people, or do you always chill like low? I think it. In? I don't. I don't go. I don't go above people normally on this zone. I kind of just chill like low rounds and see if I can hold anyone. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't. Really, I don't really like taking height this zone or like going above people. You tried hunting this guy, right? Was there any reason oh, yeah. you wanted to kill this guy? I tagged him 50. Is it you you tagged scram skin, I think. And then you got this guy's box. Yeah, if I see also I see if I see someone popping minis and it's then game, right? yeah, I always if I see someone here, I'll always like wait to see if they pop any bigs or anything. Oh, and if they don't, then I'll try crash by in their box. Right. How often are you just looking back for like a whole kill on Movings or something like that. I mean, if I have movement, pretty much all the time. If I don't have any movement, I'm always focusing on where I can get movement from. Just trying to cycle or just to um, or yeah, something like that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, right now I'll probably I I kind of like going high on first moving or like I like oh no I, I go I like going mid layer or above. Like I feel like it's really easy to just kill people when they're rotating if you're high up. Yeah. Just to get like sightlines and stuff back, right? Yeah. Do you know sit bugs? Did it? This game. I want to I should have landed on like, I was thinking about landing on that kid. Yeah. But I can't react fast enough. Do you play for height at all or um just no, I actually play high quite a bit. I mean, in these finals, it's kind of hard to, but um, I actually, if I'm really scuffed and I have like a crash pad, I actually go for high because if you can get height when you're scuffed, it, it, it's actually pretty good because yeah, you, you it, can right? you can get beams and like you have a lot of opportunities. Um, but I don't focus on going high, especially if I have movement. <clears throat> yeah. So normally you just play like second high 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 elevation. Yeah. Crash pod over and over. Do you ever look to recycle crashes or do you choose your own first of all? Um, I, I'd always focus on using mine first. Um, okay. but if there's one next to me, then I'll use it. Okay. And what would you prioritize? Like trying to get an AR hold kill or like trying to box like somebody for a refresh? Um, uh, probably AR holding someone. Probably, yeah, I mean, I don't know if uh, I'll, if there's people. If I, I would always look. I'd first look see if I can hold anyone, and if if I can't see anyone, then I'll look for like a refresh of a shotgun. Okay. Like now. And you made that covered everything behind you as well, right? So yeah. Was, that's thing. So you basically just play like as high as you can. Obviously, I'm getting focused by height, and then play for a yeah. kill later, right? Yeah, basically. I mean, I, I just play, I play around the same layer. Like, if I if I want to, I'll switch layers. But I oh, know I always just look for picks on my layer, and oh, this screws me. 
Yeah, you got shots. I, I would have I won. I would have won this game. Let me see your thought process in like fighting. Like, what do you look for? Um, I just, uh, I just take walls basically. I just, uh, I don't know. It, I get chip damage if I can. Okay. Um, I, I'll, I'll always try to go for a beam first. I, I always want to fight if I have an advantage. I think it's really hard to fight if you don't have an advantage in this yeah. map. You just take like get a beam, have a decent like advantage going into it, and then play from there, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is an example of you like. Just getting info and scouting that he's popped a mini and he's not popped a big, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're like, okay, I need to refresh. Yeah, he was getting focused before. Right. Yeah, basically he made me win tournament. Six crash bears, pad. You know you're like the only player who like charges a shotgun mid-air. Really? Yeah, I literally nobody else does it, everybody else just drops. I don't know why. I, I get so many tags from people yeah. shooting out not shooting out scare. Wait, there's no way Kona offends in my shot. <laughs> there's actually Kona offend in my shot, but he's trying to bully me. Fucking hell. Getting ready for next uh weapon yes, right? way. Diving. That cone edit's so good. Yeah. Guess you probably number the ramps and it Should goes down. Yeah. Right? Oh, you yeah, probably. Out. Yeah. I think I. Yeah, I rushed a bit. Okay. Are you like feeling it now? You just like want to get in a box and get a refresh? Yeah. I, I'm. I'm all. Look. I'm looking about everywhere, looking for all, like a pick. Okay. Where do you normally look for a pick? Like box fight, backside. Anywhere really, if I can get a beam, like, I'll bo if somebody goes next to me, I'll box them and start box fighting them, but I just look like, everywhere for it. Okay. What do you think helps your, like, end game refreshes the most, like, your skill there? Um, I think my box fighting and my aim is really good. Um, and my decision making is really good as well. But, like, it comes like, these situations, I think. Like, yeah, jumping in his box yeah. there. Oh, I almost fucked it. Yeah, that's just scared. Um, this was such a nice call. If you die right there, you just spawn, right? Yeah. Uh, look, wait, look at this. Wait, pause, pause for a sec. Look, oh wait, go, go back for a sec before I hit the crash pad. If no way kills me, if the crash pad isn't there, then wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Noah pickaxes my ramp, and he was gonna like start box fighting me, but the crash pad maybe fly out um, before he could kill me. Yeah, I was what caught you in the same thing. You saw triggered. Who would have won if he? Could... Yeah, it's just after this. But this crash pad hard saved me. Oh, it was. I think. Oh yeah, it goes. Yeah, like he's, he's like, if he kills me here, he wins the tournament. Then he starts <laughs> breaking this. He's, he's gonna put a cone, have a right hand peek. I break that. I get crash pad and up and dip. I don't. Then he he hits that crash pad and dies. Storm. Yeah, that's so unlucky, man. Yeah. Fucking calculator, mate. I think you could have won this game. Uh, I think uh, I, I'm not sure. If I if I would have like hit the guy in the storm at the like, if you go just wait till it goes yeah. all the way to last circle. I think you needed to realize that was going up the hill, right? Yeah, I, I mean, too long to go up the hill. yeah. No, I started going up. Nah, it was yeah. kind of rough, but yeah, shockwave kind of fucked it. If Shockwave is in the game, I win this. I go high. Yeah. I had high. That's worth Shockwave or Bouncers? Rush by two. Shockwave. Shockwave, Shockwave. Oh, I don't know how I got out of this. 
I don't know how I, I fit through this fucking gap. Yeah. I think if I went in, oh, I, I'm not sure. I think I, it's oh, okay. No, okay, wait. Wait, go back, go back before he shockwaved. So what I was gonna do here, uh, before wait, before I grappled, before scram goes up. Oh wait, is, is it lagging? Oh yeah. Okay. Um. What my plan was. It's just like, what's the next? Wait. If you, yeah, when I go up, so. Yeah, carry on. Um, so, I saw his box above me. So, what I was gonna do, I was gonna grapple up, and you see the wood cone below Scram? I was just gonna sit on there and just sit in Storm and wait for somebody to drop. But at the same time, he shot waved up and it broke all the builds, and I just went upwards. Ah, uh, how do you think of that? Tell me. Uh, I don't know. It was kind of just instinct. <laughs> but, uh, I would I would have been chilling, but then I landed and it, I, I didn't rest. Easy. Yeah, it was kind of shit timing. Okay, run me through the inside the mine of Benji machine. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me. So trying to spray through. Look for a tag. Um, trying to jump in. Put a cone in his box. I think that's mine. I think it was. Yeah, that was his. Yeah. And here. And trying to get. I'm just try, I tried to get that wall. Didn't get it. And. Yeah, I'm trying to get the wall. It's always talking guns and everything. Okay, then what, what I loot, I know he's gonna edit out, so I tried to pre. I tried, like, yeah, sometimes, I, tried, I, sometimes I tried to pre. I sometimes tried to pre hit on the left. If I know he's gonna edit out, I do. Uh, it wasn't really as much in this fight, but if I see if I see him like running towards one side, I'll like pre pickaxe the wall that he's gonna edit on because like, it's one HP right now. I can just get it and it, yeah. then box him. I, I do that a lot. And it's really, and nobody else does it. It's really fucking good. So, right here, I see where he's running, yeah. right? And then I will. A lot of time, if I if I don't like, let's say this this that me, that ramp was like metal or some shit, yeah. I know I couldn't break it. I would insta insta go towards the wall that he's going towards, and pick up pre pickaxe it. Like I'll pre fire the pickaxe. Um, so when he edits out, if you carry on, it's like one HP, and, and I can take it first try. Yeah, I, I get it first in, try. Right? Or... Yeah, I mean he would either be he would either go out, or he'll be trapped in. Like it depends when he edits, but then I could get that wall and just insta box him. Nice. So you'd either have him trapped in this box, or you'd have him trapped out there. You can go for yeah. I'll I'll I just edit out, put a cone, full box them. Nice. So you didn't do it this fight. That's really smart. So here you try to do the through the wall glitch thing, and then you do it yeah. here. So good. This box is like a fish. It's aside. What helped your fighting the most? Um, I feel like my peace control fucking helps a lot during fights. Like what practice kind of for it though? Um, I, I feel like yeah, uh, soloing helps a lot. Box fighting, I think my box fighting helps a lot. Um, what do you do for box fights? I know you do like build fights a lot, right? Um, I don't, I don't do a lot of box fights now, but when I first started getting good at it. I did like, quite a bit of box fights. Clips, uh, I mean, right. uh, my peace control has been pretty good since like World <clears throat> Cup. I feel like I was mm -hmm. really early to doing peace control, like getting good peace control. Um, and it's just gotten better. Do you think 1v1ing with good friends, right? Like having a friend group that's really good, like helps you a lot, right? Um, yeah, I mean, you can do, I think having a like a Discord, you can do like wages in and shit helps quite a lot. Wages, yeah. Just for mechs? Like, getting, yeah, like, I'm just, yeah, yeah. So. always having, yeah. Yeah, because that's why I say like most people aren't ever gonna be able to catch up to your level. As long as mm -hmm. it sounds right, because thing is you're you're getting on every morning and you're like um, doing whatever you're, you're basically doing what everybody else does, but right, but your your quality is high. Like your old fighting, your box fighting Mr. Savage or something, right? Um, yeah, he's like probably one of the best, probably the best in the world, probably right in terms of box fighting. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's really smart good box stuff, right? Or Lecce or something like just the, the the quality of practice you get is so much better compared to anybody else in the world, right? Yeah, I feel like if, you, if you're a pro, you have a pretty big advantage. Like you stay ahead. Yeah. What what would you recommend to somebody who doesn't have like that kind of just get into like a wager cord or? Um. Or... Yeah, I think. Yeah, wager discords. I mean, improving if you if you just wagers a lot. If you if you can get like six to eight people just to do wagers a lot, well, yeah, it will help a lot. Like uh, zone wars wager and stuff as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So your strategy is just like WQ, you've got God loot, take any fights you want, then win. Yeah. I called it like a win condition, right? Because I made like a video, it's better. Yeah. Enough, right? 
Would you, do you think about that, or is it just like, okay, I've got enough crash pads, I've got launches, I'm just gonna I mean, pop off? Yeah, I mean, my wing addiction is basically that like, if I have enough movement, if I have a lot of movement, I, would, I could just win the game. Okay. Are you not too fast on like mythics or. Nah, nah, nah. I do blueprint edits a lot as well. I think they're really fucking good. How do you practice those? Uh, I do it. Yeah, I mean, box side wages help a lot because yeah. you can, like, when you're, yeah, I don't know, when you're playing box side wages, you need to do blueprint edits. I think actually, I first started doing it when clicks, uh, when I was watching clicks. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. He's really good. Yeah. Got sleep to catch up, right? Yeah, I wake up at, like I try. I've tried to wake up at like ten ish. Ten. Ten, and then I can go for like a walk or workout and shit. Um, and then I'll get on the way like. 12 to 1, um, then I warm up for like 30 minutes, and then before I had a date, we had day, a daily cup, so I'll just get ready for my stream and play that. Um, okay. And then after that, I'll see if there's any like tournament, there's sometimes like War Legend or some shit on, play that. Um, and then I'll, I'll play like Solar Arena in between, um, I'll 1v1 people if I can. And then sometimes we'll do wages. Okay. That's basically like. And then when do you normally get off Fortnite and then go to bed? Um, I normally like get off like 11 to 12 and then I'll chill for like an hour on YouTube or some shit and I'll get in bed and make sure I'm asleep by like, by, like 2. What do you do now there's no David Dobrik videos up? <laughs> uh, Logan Paul vlogs, really fucking good. Logan Paul, Big Mike. Fair enough. When did you oh, start bat. doing solo arena? Do you remember? Oh, uh, it was it was last season I started playing solo arena. Before I'd never played solo arena at all. Yeah. Um, but I started doing it a lot when I saw how much like Mitra and shit was doing it. Yeah, that made him nuts, right? At fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he only played. He, he only played. Yeah, he only played solo arena twenty four seven. Best advice for people with zero earnings to improve and begin placing. Uh, yeah, body viewing, body viewing, you need to body view pros. If you don't body view pros, then you're not going to get good. Um, that's how I got good. Um, body viewing pros and also doing wages and, mm. and practicing your mechanics. What pros would you say have taught you the most? Is it body viewing or playing with them? Uh, I mean, Savage by far, by just playing with him, um, has taught me the most. Easily, um, I'm probably Janus or Ethan A. From watching them, me. yeah. Um, any 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 pros that you've learned a lot from? Um, a little bit shit. <laughs> I don't actually watch, watch a lot of any pros. I don't know. I only watch EU pros. Yeah. Did Bizzle get kicked out of the FMPPA for complaining about servers too much? I don't. I don't think he was ever in it. I don't. I literally don't. I don't know if he was in it or not. <laughs> I don't think he, was he might have been in it. He might have been fucking kicked. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <that was laughs> Seems like a better thing to get kicked for though. Like, I don't too know. Much, yeah. Placement wise, you're literally the best NA. Like you're like you're like a top ten NA cash cup player, and you're EU, right? What are you? What are you doing <laughs> to be so good on NA? Uh, it's a lot harder this season. I feel like it was. I feel. I feel like it was easy in last season to place more in NA instead so of cash cups, but this year uh, I feel like. What I did before, I literally just didn't fight at all mid game. Like I try my best to get a really good first WK game in, yeah. and then after that, I would, I literally wouldn't fight. I, w I literally just wouldn't fight anyone. I would run away from everyone until end game, and then I would pop off end game. That's basically how I played NA. I um, uh, yeah, I if I'm not if I'm not like even if I'm not streaming, I'll like let's say I fucking shit on someone. I would literally just like start shouting, saying they got shit on, just like have myself up. Like, I feel like having like confidence and. Did you get that I don't from know. It's a question. Did you never from used here? to do that? From here. No, I got it. Somebody, I think it was Nick Max. I, I think Nick Max said something about it on the stream, and just started doing it, and it fucking works. It it, it hypes you up so much if you just start shouting, and that you like believe someone. Like it, my the confidence. I don't know. It's so nice. People should try it. Very good. How do you stay motivated? Like, what what make what motivates you the most? 
Uh, placing good in tournaments. Why then? Like, what, what part of that? Um, the just or? people, people thinking that I'm like the best. Like, I, like people, uh, being like, that sounds fucking cocky, but it's like, I, I get motivated from people thinking that I'm good, you know? Yeah. That's what motivates do, do you, me. Do you think you're the best player in the world? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think so. Think but it's like, it's just, it's just, it's just, um, yeah, I, I, but even like, if I don't fucking place in a few tournaments, I'll always still think I'm the best, you know? I feel like you've got to have the self-confidence that you are. You write, oh, I yeah, find it. Do you write notes? This, this is it. Uh, not a lot. This oh. is the only thing I think I've ever wrote notes on. This is what I put. This, that's it. Rotate early that's... first. Okay, boys, this is inside the minor binge fish. You pro rod you, right? Rotate <laughs> early first zone, but make sure to get metal. Big one. Sit edge on second, get tags. That's a big one. Get good position on third. Rotate early fourth. That's that's how you play the game, yeah? Like everything. <laughs> and everything just else is just like, yeah, just, just do it, yeah? Those are, good, those are good notes. That's like a very solid set of notes to have.